hello everyone welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i will be showing you how to model a fired heater now a fired heater is required when you want to heat a particular component or a mixture to very high temperatures right to very very high temperatures so may require a fired heater to actually achieve such right so basically this is a fired heater in the software aspenisys and you can get something like this in the model palette right so for fired heater it typically requires you have your feed stream then you have your product stream which is a hotter version of your feed stream then you require a an air stream right so an air stream is required air is fed into the equipment then also you require a fuel right a fuel stream which in some cases can be a light hydrocarbon gas right so you require fuel for your fired heater then you would also require a um event stream right event stream that comes out from the top of the fired heater right so you require a vent stream as well then you would be required to specify your efficiency your efficiency also right so efficiency and then the excess air percent right depending on if you have an air stream in your heater right so these are some of the basic things you need to specify for your um fired heater right so we will just be doing that illustration in this tutorial so now to do that we are going to be adding these components to the list so we are going to be heating some hydrocarbons to a very high temperature so these are the components um these are the components required for the process i think at some point the model will automatically add co and co2 so these are the components required and the um the fluid package we are using for this is pen robinson right so we can go to the simulation environment so in the simulation environment from your palette from your palette you have your fired heater here fired heater yes you can also get it from heat transfer from the heat transfer section of your palette if you are using fashion 10 or higher you can get it from heat transfer so you just click on it and it comes out so we can specify our feed so for the feed stream the feed stream will be a combination of some hydrocarbons so i will just specify the properties so the properties are basically atmospheric conditions but we want to heat the feed stream to a very high temperature right maybe we can use 1000 degrees celsius for this illustration now we have the molar flow as this then we have the composition as a mixture of ethane to n butane so we will just specify that so we have equal amount of the components in the feed equal amount so the composition is the same for all of them right so we have that settled so this is our feed stream right this is our feed stream we can change the name yes so this is the feed stream now we have created the feed stream now we can go into the equipment to create other required streams so you need a combustion product so i will just name that as this flare and the combustion takes place because you are adding air to the um, equipment right the combustion of the fuel takes place in the presence of air so you need an air stream you need an air stream 
right then you also need a fuel stream as well a fuel stream right so for this um fuel stream we'll be making use of methane as our fuel right so we'll be making specifications for that then for your inlet and outlet stream you have your feed stream as the inlet then outlet you can create a stream as um, let's say hot hot feed right hot feed so we have specified that then what else can we specify okay we can go to the worksheet and specify the composition of air right so air will also enter at atmospheric conditions it will enter at atmospheric conditions yes then we can specify the composition of air so the composition of air is just the composition of nitrogen and oxygen that is present in air so we are making use of this 0.79 nitrogen and 0.21 oxygen so we have that then we can also specify the composition of the fuel as well right so the fuel we are making use of methane so we can specify methane for fuel as one composition of methane as one right so we do that and we click ok so that's for that then we can go back to check to see what else we can specify here okay now uh what else can we specify we can specify the efficiency yes we can specify the efficiency and the excess efficient right so i want to make assumptions efficiency i want to use a five percent then for excess air i will use five percent excess air right then we continue with some specifications here okay so for um fuel i will specify the temperature of the fuel and also the temperature of the hot feed which in this case i want to raise the temperature of hot feed to 1000 degrees celsius right so after specifying the temperature of the hot feed i will specify some properties for the fuel so um yeah it says thermodynamic state of the fuel is not specified so i will specify the temperature of the fuel and the pressure as well right so for pressure i will just use atmospheric pressure then for temperature i will use 800 degrees celsius so 800 degrees celsius yes so by the time you specify all of these things your heater should be fully specified right so you don't need to specify the um the flow rate of either the air stream or the uh, fuel stream right the software does all, all of those calculations based on the other specifications you have made right so it does those calculations and you don't need to specify anything for the um flare for the flare um stream as well right you don't need to make any specifications for the flare stream uh, so it also calculates um all of that then it also added co and co2 which are the combustion products from this particular process which is the heating of the feed right so by the time you heat um, by the time the uh, fuel burns in air you have the combustion products co and co2 so it also does calculations for them right so this is typically how um, modeling a basic uh, heat fired heater works right so this is how it works so you specify your feed composition and properties then you specify your air composition then your air temperature and pressure you specify your fuel composition your fuel composition and then your fuel temperature and pressure then you now specify your your desired temperature for the outlet right so by the time you do that then you specify your efficiency and excess air percent then your uh your equipment which is the fired heater should solve right so this is just a basic way to actually model a fired heater using 
the Aspen IC software. So that's it. So we can arrange this in little. So te technically, this is how it works. So like I said at the beginning, the fire heater is required when you are dealing with very, very high temperatures. Right? So you can actually try this out maybe with other substances as your feed, right? And then maybe with higher temperatures also, right? And see how it works. Right? So with this, we have come to the end of this particular lecture, right? So if you have questions or observations, kindly let us know in the comment section like this video share with your friends then subscribe to this channel for future notifications on process modeling thank you for joining me in this particular tutorial do have a good day